Hi guys, I'm back today with a review on a brand that I did get to recently review and so I was very excited to pick up some of the newer items that they just put out and I'm hoping to pick up some of the new ones that they are going to put out next week as well because I've got a problem and they look really interesting to me. So I know not everybody is interested in watching this and if not that is alright. We'll catch you guys hopefully in the next one and if not if you are here to check this out I am really glad because I do think honestly that you will be missing out if you don't give it a chance. That's just my opinion. So the brand that I'm talking about is Jaclyn Cosmetics and I kinda, here's, okay, here's my first thoughts right off the bat. So the release on her site was okay. It could have been worse, it could have been better. Here's my thought. If you tried to use PayPal, you probably realized you went to like a circling hell where you could not make any purchase and check out, which is what happened to me and I know I was not alone. But pretty much everybody else was able to get in and out and get what they needed. So for the most part I got what I wanted and then I did pick up a few more things at Ulta and actually all of my stuff arrived on the exact same day, which is kind of funny. So there was that. The other thing, that I was able to get some pretty good communication with them on email. However, my biggest qualm was that lots of people kept asking ahead of time, is there going to be a bundle? Will you guys have some kind of bundle deal where you can get everything? Especially people like me that do videos. I really wanted to be able to get everything so I could watch everything side by side. Hopefully for a reduced price because these are not cheap items. But not only was that not something that was available, but nobody ever did answer anybody. I mean, in the comments that asked that. So I thought that was kind of sad. I really wish they would have just said, hey, we're not going to do that. And also I wish that, hey, they would have just done that. <laughs> but you know, that's their choice. Obviously they are really wanting to make money and I you know, can't fault them for that. However, I do think they should do bundles and I think they should be answering people about that. Any case, so let's talk about the packaging. This is the outer packaging and I really like it. I think it's really pretty. I think rose gold is like a really beautiful kind of color. This is, I don't know if I consider this rose gold personally, but this is the outer packaging for the bronze and blush duos and let me show you what those look like. Now, I apologize because I've gotten them fingerprinted to high heavens. I'm wearing lotion all the time because I'm constantly washing my hands, so Everything I own has fingerprints on it. But this is what the outside looks like. And besides getting fingerprints, I really like the packaging. Though I will agree with others when I say that this J does make it hard to store with your other items because it's not flat. So I do, I kind of do agree with what other people have said. Another thing I want to note is that these are extremely easy to open. If you are someone that struggles to open things or maybe you have arthritis or something else, this is a really easy to open package, which I am here for. So I did get four colors. This one right here is Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. And then I did get the Lilac Love and Top Tan. And I'm wearing both of these today. And I did actually top both of them, which is why they look the exact same with Awestruck. The, technically it's a highlight, but I used it more as a like shiny blush because that's how I roll. I want to shine to the heavens, and I and I do, so I'm fine with that. Um, but you will actually see a video of what they look like side by side. They do look different. And I did also get two more <laughs> in the shades Sun Kissed and Bronze Moment. And that's what this one looks like really pretty and then I did also get warm flush and golden goddess which was like initially the first one I wanted to get I was like yep you're you're coming right on home with me because that is exactly my kind of vibe so there are those and then I actually picked up the luminous powder in the shade uh do me <laughs> It's a play on words and it's spelled D-E-W, get your head out of the gutter. But this is the loose powder and I'm wearing that like all over my face right now actually. Which I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty highlighted. I went a little bit ham. But let me just tell you guys this right now. I really like this powder and I actually plan on probably getting rid of the rest of my powders to keep just this and replace it with more of these in the future. Because I think that it made my skin look a lot better. I used a foundation today and it was one of the ones I was going to keep after I went through all of my foundations. And I hated the way it looked. I thought it was looking really like cakey and gross and it's still not perfect it's still not perfect but this made it look so much better it's not even funny like I felt like the texture of my skin was much better after applying it because before it looked like a hot cakey mess and I don't mean like something delicious and frosted that you want to put in your mouth I mean like ugh, oh girl that looks bad so in any case this I really really like these were $16 a piece and they're actually a better value than the full size highlight so if they ever come out with more of these you might want to try and pick those up. The two shades that I got were both of the shades that are available in Iced and Awestruck. So this is Awestruck which is actually what I have on my cheeks over both of those blush bronzer duos and I love the tone of that. I think it is really beautiful. I'm very shiny but I'm fine with that. I don't care what anybody thinks. And then this is the shade Ice and I've got that as my main highlight here, here, here and I just ate so <laughs> I still think it's pretty darn good for just eating. Very beautiful shade. And then I actually got one of the full-size accent highlights. This is $29. This is the shade Mesmerized. 
Now I do actually put this on over the other two I tried on the other day just to see what it looks like cohesively over the top as kind of like a blush blush topper if you will and I think this is gorgeous as well. I'm actually like that's why I really wanted a box set because I wanted to get I wanted to get everything. In any case, let's talk about each of these items. So first things first, let's talk about the bronzing and blush duos. This is the shade Lilac Love and Top Tan. This is very cool. However, I would say it actually came off kind of warm today, but that could have been the foundation that I used it over. And then this actually kind of came off warmer too than I was expecting, at least on camera. Now, this may not be the case all of the time, I think that the foundation and the products you use underneath and also skin undertones are going to change the way things look on you. That is just my opinion. But this is definitely more cool, just in general, I would say, than most of them. Now, this one right here is the one I also used on this side, and this is Pink Me Up and Oh Honey. Now, I will say I was shocked by this because when I applied this, and you'll see it in the video, I actually found this to be far more cool toned than top tan looked like and then this right here just was a lovely pink kind of shade now i've heard a lot of people say that they all look alike and that they pretty much are the same thing and to that i would say this depending on how you apply things they definitely can look very similar but if that is the case for you maybe just go out and pick two of them two very very different ones i would say if you're close to my skin type maybe pick up lilac love and top tan and maybe like the warm blush and golden goddess i think that's the two yeah because they're pretty different in all reality i find this to be much more warm toned and the other i find to be much more cool toned so maybe look for it in that kind of way but if you are somebody that enjoys bronzers and blushes i think that you can really find the differences if you're looking at them on your skin to me i found them to have different undertones and to come off different than I even expected them to so that's my thought there uh, so this one right here is warm flush and golden goddess they definitely were like your NARS orgasm kind of vibe where it's warm and like peachy and beautiful and together I just love the way they looked I thought it was amazing personally and I found it to be very different than this one right here which was sun kissed and bronze moment you will be able to see those side by side on my cheeks as well and one was warmer and more orange undertone and one was cooler. You'll be able to see that pretty clearly on the video But maybe if you get for instance, um, you get like pink me up and no honey Which I'll try and open both but I'm not good <laughs> There are some differences here, but on the face and depending how you apply it there again They could look very similar. So do you necessarily need all of them? No, maybe just pick two of your favorites and call it a day That's what I think but I can tell you this the bronzers work beautifully and then some of them kind of transcend that like cool tone bronze moment where you can use them for contouring your nose now I suck at contouring that's just real talk but I do enjoy it I thought that they worked really well the blushes were beautiful they everything just like blended out really smoothly and I'm into that anytime I can make something easily apply I am for that all day so to me for $36 a piece they are really good especially if you can pick them up at Ulta and get those points that is a great way to do it but do you need all of them probably not but I am going to swatch them side by side so you can see them compared to each other now let's talk about the luminous powder I personally I cannot get enough of this this is like if you can get one thing out of the whole collection this is actually the probably the thing I would suggest so this is $32 and to me it was worth every penny I love the way it's perfected my skin now I don't feel like it made me overly shiny now you're gonna see a lot of highlight here because I, I have a lot of highlight on but I have it all over my face and I feel like if anything it just makes me look really fresh and it really made my pores look a lot better and my skin texture look a lot better. So for me, this is a win. Then for me, these mini highlights are awesome. I love the idea of having smaller products anyway because let's be real, nobody is going to get, well, nobody with my kind of collection or nobody that does reviews, nobody that is a huge makeup collector or a lover probably will ever run out of product in all reality. So for me, this is great that they offered this size. I... I think it's perfect. You can throw it in your purse. You're never going to get through this or it's going to take you a while to get through this if you use it like specifically alone. Me, I've got a lot of different products. I try to rotate them out pretty regularly so I can keep everything in rotation. But these I definitely liked. I think they work really nicely. Now, for me, because I am fair, I use this like more as like a blush, blush top or however you would like to call it. I used it all over my cheeks because it made me happy. <laughs> and I definitely think it was worth it. I like the way it comes off. It, I mean... I feel like it didn't really enhance my texture. I think it is highlight. I mean, you won't get some glaze here and I'm okay with that. That's fine. I'm really dry. But maybe if you have more oily skin, you may not feel that way. And I completely get that, which is definitely, again, where I say something like this might be more up your alley. It is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I did get one of these big highlights. This is again in the shade Mesmerize and it's just like the little ones, but full size. It is beautiful. I think that she's done a really nice job with her formulation. I... 
I personally hope they do something really cool for holiday where you can get them like in a bundle or her palettes like she did in prior years. I would definitely be interested in and I'm very sad I did not pick up in the past. <laughs> so in any case, I'm going to go ahead and swatch everything for you guys and you'll see me apply all of the products and then at the very end I'll come back and give you my final thoughts so you probably already know what they are. <laughs> Okay, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and start with the bronzer and blush duos. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bronzer side by side and then the blushes side by side. And so this is the shade Top Tan. And that is like a really lovely kind of cool toned bronzer. Shade Oh Honey. And here you can tell that this is almost more of like an orangey or reddish undertone where this is cooler. This is the shade Bronze Moment. And to me, this is a deeper version of this where it's a cool tone bronzer. This is the shade Golden Goddess. And there again, I think you can really tell that this has more of a reddish undertone. So this is a red tone bronzer, but it is different than this. To me, I think that they look pretty darn different, especially swatched out like that next to each other. Um, but you guys be the judge. Probably the most similar out of them would be these two. But this is definitely more orange undertone than this one. I like love. And this is just a slightly purple undertoned light pink shade. And to be honest with you, I have a ton left over on my finger. Um, but these are these are blushes. They are not eyeshadows. So please keep that in mind as I'm swatching these. This is the shade Pink Me Up. And this is a really nice light pink. It does have a slight orange undertone to it. Sunkissed. And I think this is where you can tell it definitely gets way more peachy. That is so beautiful. It's like a, almost like a salmon. It's called Warm Flush. The most similar to this one right here, but it is far more orange undertoned. This is definitely more pink undertoned. And just so you guys know, these are the corresponding bronzers. This is more cool toned and this is definitely more warm toned. So just so you know what you're working with within those, that is what they are. I definitely don't feel like they're the exact same thing, especially swatched out like that. Hopefully this is helpful to you guys. All right, this is the shade Iced. Ho, 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 ho. Sorry for the super creepy sound there, but that is so beautiful. It is like your perfect champagne-y kind of goldish, beautiful highlight. Wow. And I have a ton left over on my finger. This is the shade Mesmerized. And this is a gold highlight, but it's also kind of a peachy gold highlight. It's almost kind of slightly duochromatic. It is so pretty. And this is Awestruck. And here again, I almost feel like this is slightly a little bit duochromatic as well. This is kind of like a pinky, peachy, I don't even know. It is gorgeous. I love this. I think that this would be a really nice eyeshadow too. All of these would be great eyeshadows. <laughs> For me, this would be really beautiful to see on like a medium to deep skin tone. Like if you're my skin tone, this is great for a blush. In my opinion, if you like a shiny blush, if you don't like a shimmery blush, this is not for you. <laughs> Shade do me. I have no idea how I'm going to swatch this truthfully. <laughs> Now, keep in mind, I'm building this up fairly thick, so you guys can see it. Well, there went some on the floor. Um, it's just a nice sheen, but if you sheer it out, it is so beautiful on your skin. There's something about it that I feel like really smooths the appearance of your skin. So, I'm a super big fan of that. I do have the shade Brighten Up coming, but I don't have it yet. That is all the products that I got from this launch. And again, to me, I find them to be diverse enough to have in my collection.
Okay, I'm back. I have swatched the things, I have tried the things, and I want to give you my final thoughts on everything. So, first off, I definitely think the bronzer and blush duos are beautiful. I think that if you can, you know, maybe pick out two that are pretty different and go with that. That is the way that I would do it if I wasn't trying to swatch them all for you guys so you guys could see them side by side. I do think that the formulation is beautiful. There is no scent, so to me that's like doubly great. Something to keep in mind is that there is corn in these, so if you are sensitive to corn, maybe go ahead and skip them because, uh, you know, it may not be worth it for you. Then the next thing was the Luminous Powder, and for me this is like the main hero of everything she launched. I mean the highlights are beautiful, the bronzers and blushes are beautiful, but this to me, this is replacing all the powders I have. I've been hanging on to a lot of them, trying to make them work, trying to see if I really liked them, and nope, goodbye. They can go ahead and take a take a hike. At this point, I've really replaced it with that. I think that this has perfected my skin in a way that I really like. Now, I have dry and sensitive skin, and for me, that's where I sit, but it may not be the same for you, but for me, worked great. Love it. And then, coming to the mini highlights, I really hope to see more of these. These were definitely well worth the money. They worked really well. I'm super into them. I would like to have more and I feel the same about the big highlight as well. I actually, there was a lot of shades I really wanted to pick up but because there was no bundled price I kind of felt like this was already excessive to begin with but <laughs> hi. <laughs> In any case, I definitely think that these were well made. I think everything is really good quality. I had no problems using anything. There were no scents in anything that I could tell. The packaging, the only thing that irks me, the only two things that irk me are that I've like completely fingerprinted everything up and and that this J does make it hard to store things. So maybe in the future, hopefully she'll release it without the J and just leave it with her like name up there as the logo. I think it'd be just as classy to be honest with you guys. Um, other than that, the shipping was really good. Customer service was really responsive. My only qualm again was that they didn't offer a bundle of everything and they wouldn't just tell people they're not offering a bundle. To me, that's frustrating to have so many customers ask about that and them just not answer. I didn't understand that. Like just take a second and say, hey, we're not gonna do that. You know, we'll be really disappointed but at the end of the day, that's your business to choose to do it however you want to. So in any case, I really hope that this review was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, and ring the bell for future updates, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.